On the boat 88, the bits of Sicily you won't see from a boat. Roman ruins, not shown on the maps. The beautiful city of Ragusa Ibla, perched high up in the mountains. More churches than you can shake a stick at. And of course, another beautiful castle, again perched in the mountains. First job, secure the dogs in the hire car. He's all right. Good boy. Yeah, he's fine. We'd heard that Marina de Palma, just down the road, was a great place. The locals go there a lot. Really is a lovely spot. Obviously it's winter. Well, it's not winter, it's spring. 20th of February to be precise. It really is a pretty spot. Now apparently in the summer this place is absolutely heaving. Ask any Sicilian about parking regulations and they'll tell you. It's the guidelines. I don't know what the blue crosses mean on the road, but it's the guidelines. It's got facial recognition, but it's not working on Dean. I know it won't be, will it? <laughs> I don't know, you're in more of our videos than anybody else. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to behave now, instead of being dumb. <laughs> Just keep your eyes peeled, because I have a lot of the girls coming over thinking I'm George Clooney, aren't I? <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> We got us. What is it? Dig it up. Oh, not going to dig it up. It's going to wee on it. Brilliant. Come, <laughs> mate. Let's wait. Molarella Beach was our next stop, and with the dogs being shut up in the marina for months, it was good to get them out, get the sand between their toes. And this place really was pretty. A small river runs across the beach and in the winter gets diverted along the beach. In the summer the river all but stops flowing so it doesn't cross the beach. In the summer this place is covered in deck chairs and umbrellas. On the way back we got a fantastic view of the marina from a road we'd not been on before. Next day, Caltanissetta. We'd heard it was very pretty and then again another town on a hill. I just sat and had a lovely coffee. This old bar, a bit of a town square. Oh, my car's parked up there. Interesting church. The bells are behind window. See that there? Safi's got a ride. We're off to have an explore. things happen on a Sunday morning in Sicily. Most of the men seem to gather in town squares and start shouting at each other. This is the fountain of the Trident. Apparently it's quite famous. Oh, 
Nobody's getting in that building. That's why. Bank of Sicily. The town is quite steep and hilly with lots of steps. Next was Ragusa Ibla. It's high on the top of a hill and hard to get to, but well worth the visit. Unfortunately, this is where our big camera started having problems. Who's going to carry me? <laughs> yeah, yeah, the red one. I want the red one. on the hill there half an hour ago looking up at the church show them about the pylons this place is beautiful and it's a shame some of the footage is ruined by the camera not focusing properly but we're looking into that meanwhile on the way home we just happened to see a sign that said Roman Villa it wasn't marked on any of the maps what looks like mosaic floors. Yeah, mosaic floors, some over there, well, all of them. And then it looks like some sort of bath look in the middle there with, with marble lining or something. Oh yeah. I don't know really, I mean, um, 
and then what must be the remains of a, a, a Roman porter cabin. Yeah, it's definitely a Roman <laughs> porter cabin. I'd say this was a castle. Just a rough guess. There are parts of Sicily where the rubbish is piled quite high, especially at the side of the roads in laybys and places like that. But there are other places in Sicily where the scenery, the buildings and the views are absolutely stunning. Breathtaking, I think is the word I'd use. If you miss these parts of Sicily by sailing past, you miss the real Sicily. <laughs> and we'll get a couple of seats, Pope Pete. We'll <laughs> the gate and we'll charge them to come mm. in. Yeah, if you just held your hand out as they came through the gate. Yeah, you just drop the money in. Get your little red bowl out. <laughs> <laughs> Nice bit of uh, core 10 steel there. You alright, Safi? It's too much for her to walk a long way now, she's very old. There's flamingos are nesting on the roof there, look. I think that's the bit of the rubbishy beach, the nice bits over there, isn't it? Yeah. And there's another church at the back, over there. <laughs> you couldn't make it up, could you? <laughs> no. Hi, folks. Only us Bye again. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed this video. Yeah, it's a shame that the, the Panasonic camera is playing up. It's, um, I don't know what it is. The autofocus seems to have uh, done a wrong one. Um, uh, and needs a holiday. It needs a holiday, <laughs> yeah. Um, we don't know what's wrong with it. Um, we've had a look at it, cleaned the camera up, cleaned the optics, 
but it just doesn't seem to be working properly. However, <laughs> Patreons, um, the income from the Patreons uh, has allowed us to order a new camera, and it's a GoPro Hero 7 Black with stabilisation and uh, sound equalisation and da de da de da and it works on our, um, what's it called, gimbal. So hopefully the uh, the filming will take another leap up. So Patreons, thank you so much. Uh, it makes a big difference uh, to us, especially when things like that camera was £800 to buy, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> um, Thanks to Dean and Linda for being such great sports on on the week out that we had with the with the hire car. On our road trips. <laughs> on our road trips. Yeah. And uh, it was good to see the dogs getting out yeah. and playing on the beaches and and Safi having a bit of a wander round as well. Uh, and and a drag round in her basket. Yeah. <laughs> Which did did cause some um, stirs amongst the villagers. They all sort of like, oh, what's this? And I'll come over and have a look. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, they were all all interested in Safi being in pulled around. <laughs> just just to finish off, Sicily is absolutely beautiful. If you sail by, you will you'll miss it. Um, there are some fantastic places. There are a few places where the rubbish, as we said in the video, mm. is piled high, um, especially at the side of the roads in laybys. They just seem to dump their rubbish there yeah. i mean we have noticed this week that um there seems to be a bit of a splurge on clearing up i assume it's because the tourists are going to be coming back soon but, yeah you know. I, I think there's probably an issue where they have to pay for their rubbish to be taken <laughs> away or something like that and yeah. we know what that does people just don't put it in the bins do they they, yeah. they throw it away but having said that it is stunning the architecture is stunning the people are welcoming and um and looks so lovely when the sun's shining <laughs> yeah it does it, it yeah. really does and and last week was a great break for us after being locked down for how many weeks oh i don't know months <laughs> since before christmas as much as everybody else is but yeah, yeah hopefully we can start sailing again soon and um bring you some different videos and um some better footage <laughs> better sound so until next time guys Thanks for watching. Don't forget to give us a, a thumbs up and a like. And if you can share the videos uh, through the little share button, the little arrow that goes like that, then that would be great because uh, we want to try and get our subscribers up so that we can actually get some money from YouTube <laughs> to buy a new drone. Or a drone. Or a drone. drone yeah. So um, YouTube, we YouTube, hold your money until uh, until you heat hit a certain threshold and we've got the money for the drone but YouTube won't pay it to us at the moment uh, because we need just a few more hits and a few more subscribers so until next time bye from us <laughs> bye from us sail safe